introduce him first. Fighting out of the blue corner, standing six feet tall and weighed in at 169.4 pounds. He has a professional record of nine wins with four losses, zero draws, with eight of those wins by submission. Representing London, England, Nathan, Mr. Bad. is tall and weighing in at 169 pounds. He has a professional record of seven wins with two losses and zero draws, with seven of those wins all the way to decision. Representing Dublin, Ireland, he is Peter, the showstopper, Queenie. With the action begins, your referee in charge, Mark Woodall. Two men on a superb winning streak. Something has to give here tonight. Both men feel this is their time. Tonight is the night. And for Queeley, I think the first time fighting on home soil. It's a huge opportunity for the man from Dublin. The SBG representative, though, a tough test in Team Titans, Nathan Jones. Yes, Mr. Bag and Tag on a real roll himself. And possibly two of the most technical men you will see in this cage tonight. I am very interested in how the stand-up exchanges go here. Look at the angles and entrances of Queeley, but Jones using disciplined footwork to try and slow him down and cut him off. Well, you heard the crowd roar there because it was a spinning hook kick from Queeley right at the beginning of the round. And man, Jones looking to respond. Queeley with those open arms says, come on, and now Jones doing his own thing as well. Switch kick from Jones, that was really nice, very quick. But then Queeley attacks the lead leg, open stance, then reverting back to the orthodox for Queeley. Oh, an uppercut, and Jones was rocked for a second there. Beautiful timing by Queeley. It's that follow uppercut. I'm telling you, this kid has got some incredible skills. And the way he comes in with that and closes in the distance is very deceptive. There's a lot of subterfuge to the way that guy gets in and out of range. Dangerous opening from Queeley, looking for the Superman punch. Jones, but Queeley skips out of the way again. Jones looking to establish some momentum here. Got to keep pumping that jab and finishing with the two. Jones, a look of concentration. Oh, the focus from the two men here. Because but so much is at stake. These are two men, as we said, on a roll. They're really looking to make their mark here tonight on this big stage. And as you can see, it's so perfectly balanced at the moment. I love the fact that Nathan is definitely working around the outer edge of the ring. That negates... Movement oh. like that! Another big shot from Queeley! And Jones has to suck it up once more. That right hand is the danger, Chris. The way he throws that without telegraphing is wicked. Switching up to the head and a massive kick cracks Jones. Jones clasps for the clinch. Jones rocked, I think. He needs it, Chris, because you said you're right. The, the shot choice from Queenley, I think, shocked everyone. We, oh, and the head kick again. He is on fire at the moment, but he's also cut. Queenley, for all his dominance, is cut on the left guard. Safety jab from Queenley. Queenley will move towards the right hand of Jones. Now he circles towards the left, but watch this when he begins to go the other way. I think his vision is suffering now, though, Mal. The blood streaming down the face of Peter Queeley. I'm so frustrated for him because he's done nothing wrong. And Jones, you feel, takes the opportunity, looks for the back. And I think it's a good time for Jones to do this because on the upright, Queeley was on fire, Chris. Reverse body lock now for Jones. Looking to swap up to the seat belt. Thinking about the back tech. Drags the leg away. Queeley now trying to get back up, but got to protect your neck from a short choke. Jones holding on. Queeley turns into the choke and escapes. Beautiful movement for both men. Oh, the crowd respond to that. And Queeley, as I said, the cut is on the side of the left eye, but it's also going in as well. Well, this will give Jones real heart because he's been on the receiving end of some heavy punishment upright. What a display from both men. Again, the uppercut, that is the one. Switching up to the body is Queeley. Queeley then backs out and resets. Jones, front leg sidekick. Queeley evades. Yes, I think this start from Queeley, people may not have expected this. We know that he can grind his opponent's down. But rather than grind, he's giving an upright masterclass at the moment. Such great head movement. 
You wouldn't think it given the blood streaming down his left eye socket. But this guy is a real interesting case study in evasive maneuvers. But Jones is in there, and Jones is doing the right thing by trying to corner him, but not overcommit. That's right, he's been tagged, he's been hurt, and he's fought his way out of it. And calmness we talked about has stood him in good stead here because he's taking some big shots and right back in it now. And it's important that Jones avoids the frustration because if Creeley can continue to outwork him here, Jones can get clipped. But Jones certainly maintained the work rate. And he's gonna continue to look for that jab two to get inside. I wonder though, if he can establish the clinch, how this will continue, because that was a very interesting position where Jones nearly took his back. That's right, and he needed to. It was good timing from Jones. And I wonder how much that's affecting Queenie now to be so dominant early and yet have that blood streaming into your eye. But this makes this one even more intriguing. Jones sticking to his plan, walking his man down. He's got it. His faculty's totally back now. Superman punch lands this time, then the left round kick. Jones finishes strong. Queely raises his arm. These are two experienced campaigners, Malcolm. And now, as we exit round one, some interesting takeaways from the performance of both individuals. Well, the most interesting thing for me was the way Queely set out his stall early here, Chris. Look at this upright. Caught Nathan, hurt him. And we'd ex we know this man can grind out victories. We know he can wear you down. But he came out on fire. And look at the way he constantly moves his left arm, right kick, left arm, now double left kick up stairs, trying to work over the guard of Jones there. And the way Queely throws that right kick is so beautiful. He doesn't actually turn his hip over into it. That disallows A, Jones moving out of the way because he doesn't see it coming as quickly, and B, helps get that kick upstairs quicker. It's a more direct route, less powerful, but it tagged Nathan. Now Jones, he had to dig deep, but he's still there. And by the end of the round, we started to see some of his own offensive work begin to come through. Did a great job of getting in there. Nearly caught a short choke. Queely, though, looks to have been cleaned up very nicely from the corner man. What are the third men in the ring? The door closes, and we're back at it here in Dublin. And immediately, Queely back to how he started in the first left, right, chopping low kick. Nathan, the side kick in reply. We had a feeling this one would be dynamite, and it's proving so. Really, with so much power, again, shows that whipping uppercut. The thing is, you can't catch a whip. That's the philosophy of that strike. It's very difficult to parry or try and stifle those shots coming in. Jones covered nicely. Got to keep that right hand glued to his chin. He's looking to walk his man down again, throws the side kick, almost as defensively as it is offensively. And it's perfectly balanced here now in the second. Slightly slower start than the explosive start from Queely in the first, but no less riveting. Oh, jumping knee! Jones steps back from it. Flying with that scissor technique, switching up in midair is Queely. But Jones continues to give chase. Big right hand from Jones. Jones now into the clinch. This is where it gets interesting again, Malcolm. Queely turns him around and will look to disconnect here. Yes, when it he was finds... the first time Chris Queeley locked up from that right hand. The hostilities from both men, though, remain ever-present. You can see Jones defending Queeley's maneuvers, but the thing is, holding on with that overhook, now Jones possibly looking for a throw here. He can play Uchi if he gets his left leg inside. Queeley recognizes that, using good head pressure there. And as we said, he's been more than capable of grinding out his victories, and it's the first time we've seen it leave the center of the cage. And again, as you said, it was Queeley that disengaged. And Jones actually reached for the plum. Queeley was holding on with the five-finger grip. Jones eats a kick, but blocks it. Open mouth as he comes forward. This has been a frantic pace. We didn't expect the pace to be so fast in this fight. Going 360 again, that wheel kick is the Dubliner, the showstopper, certainly looking for the big moves here in Bama. Yes, it's been a, a real surprise here, the speed, the pace, and the technique, the variety. I've been so impressed with Queeley's shot choices. Jones dogged, though, still there, still determined, and again, composed and calm. Both men, elite competitors, but both men 
continue to cover a lot of space in this fight. It's not just the volume. It's not just the energy behind those big shots. It's also the footwork, which continues to cover a lot of ground and distance. And that can be taxing. Well, Queen made it very clear in the build-up to this. Oh, and he's tacked him again! Jones has to take it, he eats the right hand once more because Queely was saying, if you look at my two losses, they're at 70K, I feel so strong here at 77, and boy, is he proving that today. Jones with the right cross, though. Queely backs off. Queely still bouncing on the toes, looking pretty fresh, but no doubt has peppered Nathan Bagentag Jones with a few of those big shots, particularly now showing the overhand right. Yes, Jones. Sticking to his game plan, walking his man down. Wheely responds with the left hand. Spinning kick to the midsection, lands from Jones. Jones continues to waltz forward in this one. Clearly, though, you'll notice, will back up. And he's so aware of the ring and actually the dimensions, if you will, of the space. Once he is forced away towards the wire, he will immediately move laterally and then reset back into a place where he can continue to use that floor, just like this. Like I said, Jones has worked his way well back into this round. Dogged, determined, almost at a spinning back fist, though. Queely full of surprises here tonight. But Jones continues to look for that number two. The right cross has been his best shot on the feet thus far. But he's got to set it up better. He's got to pump the jab. He's got to show different angles here. And just be that slightly closer to your right, Chris. It's about the footwork here. This is the bolo this time, Queely. And again, that lateral movement you talked about. Jones, that's better setting up close. The distance better, and immediately it's Queely. Sees the danger and locks up. Queely with the double unders. That was beautiful timing from Queely. Well, I noticed for the first time that Jones closed the distance better and was more dangerous with that right now. But really also opportunistic here in snaring this position against the mesh. Jones turning in, doing the right thing by fishing that left overhook in. And Jones will continue to try to work in against Greeley, but Greeley holding so tight, keeping the elbows tight, keeping the underhooks in. But That's with under 10 seconds, Chris, this has been a much better round for Jones after what was a torrid time in the first round. He really settled better into the second round, didn't he? Absolutely. And more importantly, kept discipline in the mix. Quilly was looking for the counters. He was looking to goad him in. Again, though, comparing this to round one, Jones able to certainly at least pressure and control space better. Here's some great handiwork from Quilly, though. That's right, it's footwork again, and as you said, right throughout this bout, his timing, that was the knee, beautifully timed, the lefty came up, Jones, and this is where Queeley is at his best, He's, as you said, he varies it up so well, the footwork, the changing of direction and speed. And Queeley recovering here, again, getting some attention on that cut over the left eye. That's the end of the break between these rounds. The third of which on the way here in Dublin, and the crowd loving every minute of it, Mel. Well, Queeley there pumped his fist to his hometown fans. It must be great for him to finally be here fighting in Dublin. Jones still there, though, and I thought he had a much better share of the second round. His timing and range and distancing got better as the round got on. Can he start the third the same way? It's been a more urgent start from Jones. He's definitely increased the level of pressure on Cooley, but that's the danger. If you overcommit, Cooley shows so many angles, it's difficult to measure, and more importantly, less easy to gauge patterns to try and measure what he's going to do next. Now, when you talk about what they're going to do next, Nathan set out his stall right throughout these three rounds. He's been very patient. He's been in the pocket. Those left and rights in that right round has been. He hasn't had a huge amount of success, but apart from the real opening two minutes of the first round, he's been a lot more in this fight. Nice switch kick to the body from Jones there. He caught Cooley moving right into that. Very clean technique there, landed to the body. Jones thinking about getting him down to the mat. Cooley counters beautifully. And this for me was a key point coming into this fight, was whether Nathan was going to look to try to put him down immediately or early. And this answers a lot of those questions because Cooley fighting for double unders now trips and puts Nathan down to the man. And let's put this in perspective. This is at round three, and the first time we really go to the ground, and it was at Queeley's insistence. Taking some chances here, though. Queeley looking to advance. 
Nathan, open guard. And look at the way that Nathan uses that right elevator hook to force Keeley out of his guard. Keeley gonna try to hold onto a leg here and maybe initiate the pass. Nathan will try to stand up at the first opportunity. Quilly with the back take. Yes, it was a slip there from Nathan as he turned his head, looking to get up. Breeze heavily looks to his corner, does stand back up again. But a lot of effort required there from Nathan, and for the first time, open mouth sucking in the air. And approaching the halfway point of this round, this is critical. Quilly and Jones have got another three minutes to each try to make a stamp on this one and show the judges they've done enough if it does go the distance. Now, talking before the battle, a lot of people were saying this one could be possibly ground out on the ground. It's been anything but this bag. Well, with the proficiency of both striking displays that we've seen, very different striking displays, it's made for a very interesting contrast of styles. Nice kick again from Jones. He's landed that now twice in this round. But then the counter from Queeley. Jones doing a good job of standing pretty tall there and keeping the legs narrow. That makes it a little bit more difficult for Queeley to target them. Drops his hands, he was just about to throw the right, but Queeley has that wonderful way of just stepping in suddenly and changing up. So when you just set yourself for the offensive, you're suddenly on the defensive again. Jones, though, continues to press forward. Queeley with the shot, very interesting. Stuffed by Jones. And he walks his man down again. Keeps that right, you can see him cocking that right hand, but again, it's the little shovel right to the body from Queeley that just stops the momentum. That's what he's managed to do so well tonight, Queeley. He stopped Nathan really getting any momentum. Jones has been frustrated in that respect. And again, just as he comes forward, it's actually Queeley that throws the shot. Both men have tested each other in different ways, which is very interesting when you now consider the pace is slowed a bit. And that right hand again of Queeley comes over the top of the guard. Jones bites on his gum shield. It's been a torrid evening for both men. But both have an ironclad belief that this is their time. Queeley wanted respect. Jones another step closer to a title shot. Jones continues, though, to move forward, switching up there with a head kick attempt, but nothing in it. No, Queeley again on his bike moving, and then you know he's suddenly going to change direction and possibly push forward. He lures you in, he lets Nathan Jones set the pace, and then again, suddenly retaliates before you actually get the initial shot in. And to do that with such focus over three rounds, Chris, has been amazing. Stiff jab again from Jones. And this is important that he is showing he is the aggressor here, at least with the footwork, arguably moving forward. And a big overhand right from Queeley. Jones backs away, though. Well, you heard his corner shank very clearly behind our comfort position. 40 seconds, Peter, win this round, win this clearly. And it's been a much better job for Jones to try to implement his will and pressure. Queeley finding it more difficult to disguise those shots. Again, Jones slips that big right. Moving his head off the center line. A lot more effectively, at least in this round, is Nathan Jones. Yes, the last 10 seconds, and Queeley again forcing the initiative. It's been an intriguing stand-up contest when many people thought it would be tested on the ground. It hasn't gone that way, it's gone to decision. With another spectacular performance from both individuals. Both individuals trying to unlock their potential here in the Bama promotion. Big welterweight showdown. And the type of fight you'd love to see another round if. Here is another reason why the spinning techniques of Queeley going 360 there. And you could see Jones looking to take the legs out. Queeley so evasive and elusive. And there, the flying scissor technique from Peter Queeley. And look at the way he winds up on those punches. But Jones doing a better job as this fight went on, defensively for sure. Queeley with a leg kick, and Jones circling. And this was much of the fight. Jones trying to cut down Queeley. Queeley trying to catch the counter. And it's going to be very interesting to see how the judges have tallied this one up. Both men believe they've got it. Both men believe they've got a handle on it. And we will go over to Mr. Buddy Johnson to get the announcement here at the Three Arena in Dublin.
Ladies and gentlemen, after three exciting rounds, we go to our judges' scorecards. Judge one scores about 29-28. Judge two, 30-27. Judge three, 29-28. And your winner by unanimous decision in the red corner, Peter, the showstopper! Ladies and gentlemen, I have your winner. It's the showstopper, Peter Queeley. Peter, first off, before we talk about the victory, how was it to finally fight in Dublin? You're always fighting away. This must be brilliant. Oh, it's a dream. It really is to see that crowd and hear all that noise, all my family and friends and countrymen cheering me on. It's something I have I've forgotten because I'm, I'm away in foreign countries fighting for Ireland all the time. So to come here and fight for Ireland in Ireland is a dream come true for me. Now, a dominant opening to the first round, really pushing the pace, and yet you're cut. How did that play on your mind? It didn't play on my mind because it, it was a bang ahead, so I could feel it, it was in my eye a bit, but you're just getting on with these things, it's fine, you know what I mean? It didn't, I wasn't at any point ever hurt in that fight, it was a clash of heads, and that's why I got cut, so I, I was doing the hurting in that fight, make no mistake about it. Well, Peter, it ended up a superb performance and a great win at home. Your winner, the showstopper, Peter Queeley. Thank you so much, Trevor, and for showing me support over these last six months. It's, it's incredible and it blows me away.